Welcome back to another episode of the 1% Life Podcast. I'm your host, Coach JT. This information is for educational and informational purposes only and is solely a self-help tool for your own use. I'm not providing medical, psychological, fitness, or nutrition therapy. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat any health problem or illness without consulting your own medical practitioner. As always, results of any kind will vary based on each person's unique circumstances, capacity, and work ethic. Human beings are the only life forms on earth that deliberately live below our potential. We don't get better on purpose. But we're also the only ones that cry about wanting more all the time. Dream about being better. Pray for change. Talk about it all the time. And don't do anything about it. You are where you are. We all are. Because of the decisions that we've made up until today. You decided to be where you're at. It's not your past. It's not your upbringing. It's not your family. It's not accidents. Things will always happen outside your control. But you make decisions before it happens. You make decisions during it. You make decisions after it. But you're also what you tell yourself you are. People see you the way you see yourself. They treat you the way you treat yourself. Which brings me to self-sabotage, having a negative perception of yourself instead of a positive one. Negative self-talk, fear of what if, living in the past, stressing about the future. I've become much more patient and understanding over the years, but there's a couple things that I just won't ever be okay with. One is making excuses or blaming other people. Limitations, kids, hobbies, blaming things that you chose to have in your life that you chose to do, that you chose to commit to, decisions that you made. The other is wanting more results than effort, reaping what you don't sow, putting in one hour and wanting four back, expecting rainbows and cotton candy all the time. When it doesn't work that way, you're done. But the worst, by far, is negative self-talk, self-loathing, self-deprecation, tearing yourself down, destructive behavior, wallowing in your own self-pity. This is one of the most frustrating things I deal with on a day-to-day basis. And I don't understand why. For the life of me, I can't understand what you possibly hope to gain by tearing yourself down. If you're not on your side, if you don't have your back, if you're not your own biggest cheerleader, who will be? It's stupid. How often do you catch yourself cutting yourself down? Maybe it's in your mind. Maybe it's under your breath. Or maybe it's out loud. Maybe it's to other people. Maybe you do it jokingly. I see people grab their gut and shake it and make fun of themselves. You know it's not funny. You know it bothers you. Or saying things like, I'm a dumbass. I'm so forgetful. I'm just an airhead. Why? Let me offer you a a shift in perspective. If you openly said to other people what you say to yourself, what do you think would happen? How long do you think you'd have a job? How long do you think your business partner would stick around? How many friends would you have? How fast would people start avoiding you? It's perception. Perception of yourself. 75% of the people in the U.S. hate their job. What about the other 25% doing the same job? Why don't they hate it? 77% of people experience regular stress. 20% say they're miserable. 20% have major depressive episodes. 80% dislike their bodies. Perception. 85% of people don't believe they're good enough for their spouse. I've worked with some really high-level athletes, multimillionaires, people that you say would have it all. And they feel like they're more inadequate than average people. 99% of people stay stuck and never change and believe they can't. I'm just this way. I just look this way. I'm just going to make this much. I'm just going to have these problems. Negative self-talk plays such a massive role in this. I can't do this. It's too hard. 
Has anybody else done it? I should be further along. According to who? Somebody you compared yourself to online? You don't know what their journey's been like? I hate my body. I hate the way I look. Not bad enough to do anything about it. They're doing better than me. What if I crash and burn? I don't deserve this. We don't deserve anything. You focus on your weaknesses. You catastrophize everything. Everything is panic and never and worst ever and the most horrible thing ever. It's impossible. I can't hardly move. I'm a failure. I'm a loser. I'm incapable. I'm a fat ass. I'm gross. Just nasty. What do you think that does to yourself? You don't think that that ruins your self-esteem? You don't think that other people treat you that way because that's how you treat and see yourself? Of course they do. Dwelling on past failures, all or nothing thinking, extreme black and white. Dismissing wins, ignoring or invalidating the good things that you've accomplished, small things on the way, big goals, positive qualities, achievements, compliments that you get, you just dismiss them. Nope, I'm stupid. Dwelling on past failures, all or nothing thinking, blaming other people, holding other people responsible for your life. Once you take responsibility, you admit that it's all you, now you can fix it. If it's always somebody else, then it's their responsibility. How often do you feel paralyzed by fear? It's all perception. Right? Fear of failure. Right? If you're scared to fail, you're never going to do anything else. You're going to stand exactly where you're at, safe and comfortable. Fear of success, fear of embarrassment, fear of confirming your own inadequacies. If you don't, if you don't try, if you don't do it, if you don't put yourself out there, you can pretend that your shortcomings don't exist. Fear of quitting because you have so many times confirms how weak you are. I know I'm a quitter. You give yourself back doors every time you try something. I'll do it, but... You, you go into it knowing that, you know, there's a good possibility that I'm not going to be able to do it, but here's the reasons why. Self-sabotage and fear are two sides of the same exact coin. Both of those things stem from stories we tell ourselves and the, the crappy beliefs that we have about our own self-worth and our own capabilities. Look, I know change is hard. It's why 99% never do it. 99% of people live unhappy, unfulfilled their entire lives. But they constantly daydream about wanting more. They want to have more. They want to experience more. But they keep themselves locked up in this little box that they have the key to. You control your thoughts. But it starts with belief. Right? Is it possible? Are other people doing it? Are they special? Is there something about them that's completely different than you? They're not any different than you are. It's just mindset. I'm no different. If you knew my life story, you would absolutely agree. Is something making it literally impossible for you to do? Nope. What about if I gave you a $10 million check? Do you think you'd be able to go get in good shape over the next year? Yep. Do you have a major medical problem or impairment that no one else has ever had? Nope. Are you incapable of hard work? Nope. So here's my point. Yes, it's possible. You know it is. So you believe it's possible. You have the belief. You just tell yourself, they can, but I can't. They got lucky. We both know that's BS. Deep down, you know if you had to, you could. So now that you have the belief, you automatically create more potential. So every day when you get up, you start telling yourself you're already there. You imagine it. What's it like? You visualize it. What do you feel like? Have you ever had a daydream so vivid that you catch yourself smiling while you're doing it? You're just in la-la land all by yourself thinking? 
That is imagining it. Feeling it with emotion, gratitude, excitement. If it's being lean and fit, you have to already see your abs. Imagine what your clothes fit like. What are the reactions at the pool when you go? Wearing dry fit shirts and seeing your abs through them, pinching your skin on your abs, looking at yourself in the mirror when you get out of the shower, how proud you feel, the compliment you're getting from your friends. Play the movie in your head every single day. Don't think about it. Don't think about if you can. Don't think about how long it takes or the amount of cardio you're going to have to do or that you got to be restrictive with your food or what you're missing out on, that you're too fat or too lazy or it's going to take a year. Nothing about the journey. Just the result. Nothing negative at all. You have to think like you're already there. So if you've changed your belief and now you realize what your potential is, Next step is to take action. This is the easy part. Lots of small little check boxes. That's the way to do it. Don't think so massive. It's overwhelming. Get your macros in checked and start eating exactly right. Write yourself a cardio schedule. When are you going to do that? What's your strength training schedule? When are you going to go to the gym? Doesn't have to be perfect. Get you a jug for your water. There's your water. Get your sleep in check. Start avoiding negative people. Negative thoughts, negative situations. Stop cutting yourself down. Then start cutting out everything else that gets in the way. If it's not helping you, it's hurting you. You're looking for consistency, not perfection. Show up every day. That's the trick. Show up. Doesn't matter if it's 100% or not. It's never going to be. Do all the things that you know you can do. They're all so simple. Lots of small little things. And then what do you think happens? You start to get results. They all start adding up. Every little thing is just verification that you're doing it. Every little step. How you look in the mirror. Pictures of yourself. Measurements. Pinching yourself and feeling less on your gut. Your headaches have stopped. When you wake up, you feel positive and driven, well-rested. You're having to buy new clothes because your others are too big. Comments that people are making, it's all proof. Don't ignore it. And with proof, there's more belief. More belief is more potential. More potential, more action. More action, more results. And the loop continues. You have to believe in yourself like everything in your life depends on it. Quit being your own worst enemy. Get out of your own freaking way. No more talking down to yourself. Lift yourself up. Every thought, every action, every word. Follow through with your promises. Stand up for yourself and then stop letting anyone anywhere tear you down or disrespect you. Drop the someday when the situation is right garbage and just start. It's never going to be perfect. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Strengthen your mind. Do the hard crap. Build tenacity. Develop willpower. Grit. Show up for yourself. I'm out. For more content, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. See you.